this is the easiest way and the quickest way for you to get Jigu Physics or to learn Jigu Physics in Blender. All you need is just one add-on, duplicating bones, creating vertex groups, and doing some weight paint cleanup. So let's get into it right now. First thing first guys, you need to come down to this GitHub page to download this add-on. This is the only add-on you need for this tutorial. This is going to give you the results you need. But the interesting thing about this add-on is it was actually designed, I mean created for Blender 2.8. But surprisingly, it's still working for Blender 4.1 because I'm using Blender 4.1, the latest one for this tutorial. So um, come down here, this drop down, download the zip and make sure you unzip and straight up come into blender down here your preference you know you know the deal you know the deal you know the deal so install your add-on quickest way for you to see the add-on is when you click on your rig you are going to see it under the bone properties and you have this spring bone here this is spring bone so um that's that now this is the model from the intro so let me bring my rig to the front so we can see the bones and um yeah so if you can if, if you looking at this rig now it has the breast bone there which is cool for us to try the add-on on immediately so coming into your post mode you can come here object come here post mode in your post mode click on the children if you read the instructions on the um on the github page this spring bone works perfectly with the children of the bone. It doesn't work with the parent. So I'm going to advise you to use the children's something like the bone. Yeah, this one selected here. And um, let's do this. So this already has the breast bone. You come down here under the bone properties, spring bone. This is this is the add-on here. Then you click on spring. You come here, you click on spring. Remember to click each bone and click spring then there are two types of mode here for this add-on you have the interactive mode and the animation mode but i prefer using the animation mode because this allows baking like you can see here in the instruction it allows it supports baking and this interactive mode you can actually just test it out immediately let us try the interactive mode first now when this bone when this add-on is active you will see your rig, you are going to see your bone, there are going to be this color, this highlight, they are going to be highlighted. So if I take, if I'm, let me just move the model, you are going to see what I mean. You can see it's interactive. I'm moving the model. That's why it's, you can see the breastbone doing the magic. So that's that there. Then let's stop it and switch to animation. Sorry, let's stop. You are going to always make sure you stop and always make sure you start from the beginning to reset the physics. So let me come to animation now and play. You can see it's working, right? You can see it's working. Perfect. So that's that. Now that is for a rig. Let me pause the animation. That's already that is already for a rig that has the bone in place. So now let us create another set of bones for the bomb from scratch so which is the important part of the um of the tutorial because there are some most times most tricks don't come with the breast bone and the bomb bone bomb bone bomb <laughs> okay that's cool now let's do this the second step now is to duplicate the bone and this process is important for the success of your physics. Um, okay. So the easy, the fastest way, the way I do this is that I usually just pick the bone, the thigh bone here. You are going to come up here. But make sure you are in the bone, pro the bone properties. So this thigh bone here, I'm going to duplicate the shift D. Oh, sorry, I played it. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm waiting. I'm okay. So I'm going to duplicate Shift D. Oh, sorry, I'm in post mode. I'm in post mode. That's right. Sorry, sorry. Make sure you are in edit mode for you to do this. 
can see i made i'm leaving the mistake here in the tutorial so you can see I'm, i'll be leaving all of the mistakes and the corrections so you can see how so to help you out this is a common mistake that you can avoid most times so now make sure you are in edit mode for this to work perfectly so now i'm going to duplicate the bone let me move it i'm going to rotate it i'm sorry i'm going to rotate minus 90 um okay and um let me see if let me move to the back view i think i'm going to raise it up a bit okay then i'm going to hot speed to clear parent you see the reason why you need to clear the parent because you remember we duplicated the tie bone which you don't want to say name the names here are really important. You need to name these bones well, and you see reason why. So um, then, I'm going to name this. You know, looking at this model, this bone now is on the left. So I'm going to name. I'm going to name this bone underscore left L. I'll leave it that way. Then I'm going. I'm coming down to the amateur here. I'm going to symmetrize. You see you don't have to do the work twice this makes it very fast nice so now you click don't click the two bones that's another mistake i find like you, you might run into don't do don't mistakenly select the two bones and pairing them to select them everything here need to be selected separately so i'm going to click here now and i'm going to hold shift click on the tie bone and i'm going to parent control p then you are, you are going to use keep offset instead of connected you are going to do the same to this one. Click the tie bone, Ctrl P, keep offset. Perfect. That's what you need to do. Now you are done duplicating the bone. That's all you. That's all you need to do when it comes to duplicating the bone. So now the next step is for because we have just five steps for this thing to work. The second step is to create your vertex groups. Now, you see the importance of the renaming of this bone. And one thing, you, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed, when I did the amateur symmetrize, the name, the underscore L I gave to this bone, made sure, when I did the symmetrize option, you can see, I didn't, I didn't rename this. The symmetrize option automated this thing. That is, that is another trick you need to look out for and it really helps you to make this faster. It's just a little thing but at least it does a lot. This is the end of the part one for this tutorial. You can go grab some coffee, chill before you go into the part two. And thanks for watching my video. Subscribe, comment, like. You can comment anything you want me to do tutorial on in the comment section. And you can grab this scene, you can grab this file on my Gumroad just for a few bucks and see you in part two.